Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Descript to turn long form videos like webinars, customer interviews, educational videos, or even the incoherent ramblings of your visionary CEO into branded, engaging clips you can use across all your social channels. Let's get into it. I'm going to get started by creating a new video project and simply drag the recording of my webinar into the upload file drop zone. If your content is already on YouTube, you can paste a link to it and Descript will start transcribing your video. Once the transcription has finished, let's start by using our AI editing assistant Underlord to help us find and create the clips with the most potential to grab attention on social media. First, let's have the video focus on the active speaker. In the look good section, select center active speaker if you're working with a single video. And if you're working with multiple separate speaker recordings, select automatic multicam. Next, I'm going to scroll down to the repurpose section and select create clips. I want to pull three clips that are around 10 seconds each. Note that you can always change the presets here to any number of clips and any clip duration. I'm going to choose one of the suggested layouts and later I'll show you how to create a custom template. I like this vertical layout and I'm going to specify a topic I'd like the clips to be about and then submit. Next, Underlord will show me the three clips with the title of the clip, a short description, length of the clips, and a star rating that's kind of like a potential virality score. I like all of the clips Underlord chose for me, so I'm going to select Done. Note that if you don't like Underlord's choices, you can discard any clips you don't want to keep, and you can also change the layout for the select clips if you're not enjoying the original layout you chose. In the Project tab, you'll now see three separate compositions for each clip. You'll see that in each clip, Underlord included some of the video before and after the clip in case you want to include a few sentences on either side. Next, let's create some custom templates with different layouts to apply your branding to future clips. My favorite way to create a template is to build it on the fly after I've imported my content. I'm going to change the aspect ratio from landscape to portrait. From here, I'm going to add my captions. Next, I'm going to drag my logo onto the canvas and resize it. You can also drop in custom imagery or other elements. Just simply drag them into the canvas and resize. To view all of your layers at the same time, click on the layer tab and you'll see them all in a list view in the current scene. To manipulate the properties of a select layer, just click on the desired layer and make any adjustments you want. This is looking really good. I think I'm ready to save this template. So I'll click on the scene tab and then click on these three dots and select save to template. You can add this to an existing template or create a new template. Let's create a new template. Now we're going to name the template, adjust the privacy settings, toggle on publish on create and select create. Last up, I'm going to add and title this layout. This is helpful if you want to create multiple layouts using the same template and let's select Add. Now that I've created this template, I can use it on future clips I pull. And if I'm working with a team, I can share these templates with folks on my team, as well as by choosing the Share with Drive Security setting. Last up, I wanna run these clips by my colleague, Christiana, since she'll be sharing these on social. I'm going to highlight a range of text that I want her feedback on and select the comment icon. From here, by using the at mention symbol, I can tag her in this project and she'll get notified. She can even respond in the comments if she has any feedback or questions. And that's it. Instead of just one long video, you've got a bunch of quick branded clips that people will actually watch. And if they won't, you can place them as ads and force them to watch. Once you start making clips, you'll be unstoppable.